Come over. We'll get some extra chairs. Come over. We'll get some extra chairs in for the people later in the show. There's room for everybody tonight. Or even go and join the orchestra. Did you read the Green Guide this morning, Marcy? This <laughs> You're going to finish up with Molly Meldrum sitting on your lap. Does that worry you? Oh, no, we're very good friends. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our new political commentator, Molly Meldrum. <laughs> Couple. Thank you. Very lovely. We're very good friends. Now, listen, I've got a, a, a beef about this age green guide What's as well. happened? Well, I mean, he described it here. I mean, this is great journalism. Meaningly, meaningful conversation with Ian Molly Meldrum, television stumbling Peter Pan. He, I mean, everyone knows on this show I'm Tinker Bloody Bell for great. <laughs> <laughs> I think what you've got to learn, though, and I've, you know, I've got a, a couple of years' experience on you, you just got to take what they write in the papers take it as as their opinion and don't let it upset you right right now listen just just to cheer things up i bought you a present yes now when uh ryan curtis's head no, yeah. <laughs> yes no no, no. Um, when uh, elton got married and yes. we're going to go into that later um he insisted that i wear another hat he said you're not going to wear that terrible hat are you to the wedding so he bought this for me i wore it to the wedding so here it is for you you're kidding now, oh my Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, that's... That, did you really wear it to the wedding? Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Are you sure it's yours? Yes. It looks more like Ansel on some our way. <laughs> so there you are. There you go. I saw the Slim Dusty movie the other day. That's an interesting movie. There are three Slim Dusties. And you spend most of the time working out which one's the real one. But it's, it's beautiful. You going to say? Yeah, now listen, you had an embarrassing moment with a motorbike. Do you remember that? That uh, yes, automated one? Yes. Let's have a look at that, because I thought that was very funny. You were trying to ride it, I believe. Okay. Right, let's have a look at it. <laughs> oh, just, just hold it one sec. Hold, hold it, hold it. Just, it's very important that I explain to you what happened here with the motorbike. Um, it was on remote control, mm. and I was told before the segment, whatever I did, not to touch the accelerator. And we were going around, the whole thing was the lady behind the set here, uh, well, the band used to be on the side of the studio, and they were here, and she was behind. Uh, Jill, one of our researchers, and also my dresser, a lady called uh, Robbie. And they were standing there and I almost killed it. It could have been a very, very serious moment on television because what I did, I forgot what I was instructed not to do, and I touched the accelerator. And you'll see what happens. <laughs> Incidentally, I must just say one thing. If just you've just hit him, by the way, Marcia and Molly are engaged. Right. Is that what it is? Mm. I wouldn't mind. This one's lovely. She's gorgeous. And those lips. You going to say? Right, no, listen. <laughs> no, um, what I was going to say is, uh, hearing Doug and Marcia sing tonight, uh, it, uh, it's always concerned me here because, like, when you think of Lionel Richie and you think of Tina Turner, um, who's well into, into her 40s now, having such great hits, it's just a pity that, that, that people in this country, and especially radio programmers, cannot recognise talent as it grows older. Because, um, because that, I think that's the thing Australia's really missing out on, because we're not missing out on the radio airwaves with people such as great singers like yourself and that's Doug. And I really that's that. true, yeah. 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 Molly, when I was doing radio, I did a, a music check on other stations over, I think it was a five-hour period per day mm. for uh, seven days. And I won't mention the Australian artists who were played by the other stations, but I was the only person that week, anyway, who was playing Marcia, and the only person who was playing, um, oh dear me, I can't think of his name now. Uh, John English? Uh, John, John English. Right. John English. 
I was the only station, and that's disgraceful. Know, because disgraceful. It gets very discouraging. Well, Marcia, you've got stuff on your albums that mm. just doesn't get airplay, and that we know. It's I mean, beautiful Doug, material. Doug was did, did a song called. Um, uh, uh, you better, better keep your hands off my... You must know it well, do you, Marcia? Yeah. Yes, I do. Very strange name. Very keep, better keep your hands off my potential, potential girlfriend. New, new, new girlfriend. And he's his girlfriend. Yeah. And they said, record it, you know, be big hit, go for it. And as soon as they realized it was great, they released Dolly Parton's right yeah. up under him and exactly. just pulled the rug it's, from my It's heartbreaking. Hand. It gets very discouraging. Yeah. Right, this is joining you now, somebody who doesn't play music, uh, your music on radio, but you can't blame him, really, because he's the king of talkback. Darren Hinch, ladies and gentlemen.